So tonight we are going to be talking about email etiquette. Every day we are inundated with email. You know, it, it can be a task deciding when to reply. When is it essential? And an even trickier aspect is using the correct grammar and phraseology in emails. How big should an attachment be? Well, let's take a look at, at what we will study today. We are going to take an in-depth look at the basics of emailing etiquette, salutations, the format of business and formal email, and follow that up with helpful phrases when sending attachments. So by the end of the lesson, you will have increased your vocabulary, your emailing skills, and a little bit of grammar to do with emailing. So when we think about the vocab, we are going to discuss formal salutations, typical emailing phrases for, for opening an email, promising actions, making requests, referring to previous contact, and of course, positive closing statements. Mind your manners. <laughs> An email etiquette checklist. So we do know that we are inundated with email and some of it is really important. Other messages may be personal and some are just junk. Whatever the situation, you need to respond. You need to know when to respond, in fact, and how. So let's begin with an example of the format you should use. Notice that the paragraphs have been separated by one or two lines. The standard way to open a business letter is with dear, followed by the person's name. And of course, you can use a colon like this. You can use a, a comma if you prefer. It's up to you. And another idea is unless you are certain that a woman prefers Miss or Misses, use the title Ms. And we spell it like this, M-S. 